Hey, what's going on guys? So today I wanted to demonstrate to you some basic dumbbell movements that again you'll be able to do at your home as long as you have you know, a couple dumbbells laying around. I only happen to have one so I'm going to have to demonstrate it to you one arm at a time but I'll be good enough to uh, really elaborate on how to do the exercise and the right technique. So first off I'm going to show you a, a basic standing dumbbell curl. You really want to make sure when you do this movement that you remain mindful of getting a good stretch and contraction. Good stretch and then squeeze at the top. And again, if you have two dumbbells, you may want to alternate them. Or you can do one, at, one arm at a time if you like to. I like to switch it up. A different variation of curls that hits the, the peak of your bicep a little more. It, this one's called a hammer curl. What you want to do with this one is instead of uh, bringing it up and twisting at the top, you want to bring it inward towards your chest. Again, you really want to focus on doing good stretch and contraction when working biceps. I don't even like to go mentally heavy on biceps myself because I find it to be futile. My best results always came from uh, really focusing on using good form, remaining cognizant of a good, uh, a good contraction. And from there, I'll show you a side delt exercise. This is called a side lateral raise. Really feel a, a lot of tension on the side delt with this exercise. Another way you can do this is uh, you can turn a dumbbell or turn your hand down at the top. You may feel a bit more stimulation in your shoulder that way. And from there, uh, I'll show you a front delt exercise. This is a basic front raise. Nothing complicated about it. Keep your arm, you might want to keep your arm slightly bent. You don't have to go real high with these. I see a lot of people doing them over your head and stuff like that, but I feel like I get the best amount of stimulation in my shoulder just by spinning it up to there. You want to pause there for a second. You really squeeze. You may want to do three sets of each of these, maybe 10 to 12 reps. If you're just beginning, you really want to make sure you got the form down correctly first. 